Hi, I'm Dr. Paul. Welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. Question for you today is, could you be suffering or could your child be suffering from a B12 deficiency? It's something that when I was in medical school, we were taught in biochemistry about B12 deficiency being an issue with intrinsic factor, just affecting the gut, just affecting your red blood cells so you would have pernicious anemia. It is so much more important than that and so much bigger than that. I didn't realize that. I'll give you a little story. Just a couple few months ago, I had a nine month old baby in my office. The eyes were rolling all over the place. This poor baby was very floppy and just no tone at all and had been having seizures. Seen many neurologists on more than several seizure medications and still just, it, it was looking fairly hopeless. Just on a whim, I thought, you know, let's look for nutritional deficiency and we have a test we can do where we look at the actual nutrients inside the white blood cells. It's done by a company called Spectracell. Came back with virtually no B12. We put that little baby on B12 shots and within a week, the eyes were focusing, the tone was returning, the seizures had stopped, and basically we had development back on track. That was like, wow, I mean, that's huge. But as I come to find out, as I started researching more, and there's a book called Could It Be B12, which I would highly recommend if you're interested in this topic, take a look at that book. But it turns out that almost anything neurologic or psychiatric, you've got to think about B12. So we're talking depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, sleep disorders, whether you've got vision problems if you're older, maybe Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, memory issues, confusion, if you're a developing child, anything developmental, whether it's ADD or autism or language, you've got to be thinking B12. And then of course, obviously, if there's a anemia, the type that has extra large red blood cells, macrocytic anemia, that's the classic B12 deficiency. Usually you won't see that though until it's very much later. These neurological symptoms can show up right away. Now, if you do a serum test, which is the traditional way of measuring B12, Deficiency is going to be classified as less than 200 picograms per milliliter. Unfortunately, what I'm finding, this is true of so many labs, it's very true of vitamin D, but in B12 status, even if you're at 200 to 350, which is considered borderline, you're probably way inadequate. And so, you know, I think we've all become so deficient that we are suffering in our neurological development as, as children and adults with all those other symptoms we pointed out. B12 is one of the most critical vitamins in a key biochemical step. It's called the methylation cycle. If you've watched some of my videos, you've heard me talk about this before. When you take the amino acid homocysteine down, I'm sorry, methionine down to homocysteine and then down through glutathione for detox, the step back from homocysteine to methionine requires folate, B6, and B12. And without those folks, you're not methylating, you're not making neurotransmitters properly, you're not making proteins properly, you're not reading your genetic code properly. It is that important. So this is a very key nutrient. And you might say, well, where do we get B12 anyway? Some of the good bacteria in your gut can make some B12, so taking probiotics is a good thing. But this is basically one of those vitamins, plants don't make it, they don't need it, only animals do. So if you're a vegetarian, you are probably B12 deficient. You need to get your B12 typically from fish, shellfish, eggs, dairy, and meat. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have to take a supplement. You can take large amounts of B12 because this is one of the water-soluble vitamins. Uh, the experts in B12 recommend as much as 1,000 micrograms in a lozenge, or you can take it sublingually. If you're severely deficient and you need the methyl groups, I've had the best luck with methyl B12 shots. And those are injected every other day or twice a week into the subcutaneous, into fat, so that they gradually dissolve and you have a constant replenishing of those methyl groups necessary for that key methylation cycle. Sorry, this was a bit technical, but I really wanted you to have a chance to understand the importance of B12. If you're taking B12 folate, you got enough B6 and you're eating healthy, you're avoiding toxins, you're well on your way to health. Thank you for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.